you're wondering what I'm doing here, uh, because it was such a large grain bill, because it was such a large grain bill, um, I did a bit of party guile mashing. So I've got some um, extra, well, about 10 litres of water. Just um, that I, I soaked the um, the grain bed and for about 15, 20 minutes because all the starches are already converted. Um, and now I'm just doing a bit of a sparge. And when it collects, I'll put some, um, I'll boil this up in a small batch, add some hops and make a, a lower lower alcohol strength stout. Alright, here's our party guile stout. It's just coming to the boil and then we're going to add 15 grams of EKG for an hour and with 20 minutes left we'll add 10 EKG. Okay, we have our Party Gold Stout finished boiling. And we're going to pour it into our fermenter. Howdy Brewers, here's the Party Gold Stout. It's only been a week in the bottle, but I needed to uh, get it ready or have a taste in this video. Sounds carbonated. It's really hot, so I'll be quick with this uh, with this review. It's still in the mid 30s, and it's 7:30 at night here. There's a there's a distinct coffee flavour in this beer, which is nice that some of those aromas stayed, um, despite having this is, was their second runnings through. I'd say it's 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 dominated by coffee aromas, and there's a tiny bit of dark chocolate. So let's give it a taste. So I only used East Kent Goldings for the for the hops, and it's it's got that typical sort of East Kent Goldings earthy earthy and florally flavours. Um, um, only slightly. Um, it's mainly dominated by the, um, the the roasted malt, so you get that sort of toast flavour, and that's um, so for a second runnings, which is essentially a free beer from um, the Imperial Stout I brewed. That's really nice. Um, so if you have any questions, because I know the video is a bit light on, uh, about how to do your party guile brewing, just ask them. Cheers. Happy brewing.